everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be my yearly what I got for Christmas haul this time for the year 2021 Another year, another Christmas haul, and as usual, I'm very much excited to be able to do this video for you again this year. I know I'm not the most frequent uploader on YouTube, but I will say I come back during the holiday season for sure with no fail, and I know some of you have noticed that and have mentioned that in my last video, um, but it's true, and it honestly is because I find it the most nostalgic part of YouTube and I have been making YouTube videos, specifically a Christmas haul since I started posting YouTube videos in eighth grade. I am now 26, so that is definitely a long time ago. Yes, I've been on here for a while and the Christmas haul is definitely a tradition that I have not yet broken and am not yet ready to do so. So I will continue making this video for you for as long as I possibly can and I hope you continue enjoying them. So without further ado, let's see what I got for Christmas. But every single year I tend to say I'm not gonna go in any particular order, but I always start with my family. So I guess we'll just We'll just do it that way from this point on. And I'm gonna start with what my family got me. So I am gonna get started with what my brother Adrian got me. Um, my not so little brother. I still call him little even though he is in college now. And honestly why I probably cried <laughs> when he gave me this present. He got me a keychain, a personalized keychain, and it is a picture of us when we were oh so young there you go so it's a picture of us and it is a keychain and i don't even remember what year this was i'm pretty sure it was before 2012 so it was a long time ago and he was so tiny and when i opened it i just cried i could not stop crying i was so embarrassed but obviously it's okay to cry but i kept crying it was because it was such a great time i'm <laughs> I'm about to cry again but it was such a great time we were so young we were taking everything for granted you know having everyone there during the Christmas time and you know our grandparents still being there and all of us being the same city it's just it reminded me of how life goes on and it just made me super sad and another thing on here actually is a little thing that we share love for which is Olivia Rodrigo it's actually the song driver's license and we are both huge Olivia Rodrigo fans and we actually got tickets to see her part of my Christmas present to him is Olivia Rodrigo tickets and also a little bit of a sneak peek of what Ahmed got me He did also get me Olivia Rodrigo tickets for her concert in San Francisco in 2022 so there it is. That explains why it's driver's license. And I'm looking forward to that. Another keychain, which we also bond over this. We love the company called Smoko, but I think the whole name is Smoko No or Smoko Now. I don't know. I'll link everything I can link down below. But basically, this is my favorite Smoko character. It is a potato and his name is Tato, and I think that is the cutest thing. And he actually lights up, if I could figure it out. There he is, <laughs> but yeah, there you go. So moving on to what my parents got me. The first thing is actually one they also got a meta pair of. They got us matching slides. These are just Adidas slides with the gold stripes. The next one is definitely one I am super excited about because I have been ooing and aahing about these. They are not everyone's style and I say that because when I opened these Christmas day everyone was making fun of me. They were thinking oh my gosh those are so ugly why did you want them yada 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 and then I put them on and everyone thought they were the cutest thing. So I think these are gonna be the it shoe of 2022 i think so but <laughs> they are the ugg slides oh my gosh and these are not just like the ugg slides you wear at home these are like ones you can wear out like out and about grocery store 
going to run errands type of sitch. I love it. So they have an actual platform that can get dirty. And then you have the fur at the top part. So you can definitely wear these out. And I think it's like, <laughs> I, I say that it's like a good transition shoe from like winter to summer. So <laughs> I love these so much. You have no idea. And then last but not the least, this was my, my hair all over it. <laughs> This is my big present for this year and it comes in a beautiful Dior box and obviously it came all like wrapped up with the little um, They had like that star ornament this year, which obviously I already hi, honey Can I go? Yeah Can I get a kiss? Sure. I love you. I love you. Have fun. Okay, bye. Enjoy. As I was saying, it came in a beautiful box and then it had all like the finishings on it, including a star ornament, which I probably should put on our tree because it matches perfectly. But obviously that is all gone after I ripped it apart. But this, as you can tell probably by the size, is a jewelry piece. And if you've been on my channel for a while, you would know that I am a huge fan of Dior jewelry, even more than Chanel. I think Dior jewelry is just so timeless and such great quality, I will say that. And so this is another one I love that I can add to my collection, and it is the Dior chain CD ring. So there it is. I love it so much. It's like just a great piece to add. Um, I'm not wearing a bunch of jewelry today, but usually I am decked out with different jewelry. I love having a lot of rings on my finger. So this is one I'm definitely going to add. I think this can go in my middle finger, which is what I actually wanted it to be on. So yeah, so I'll be rocking it like that. And I'm so happy that I got this. Thank you so much to them. Continuing on with family members. This one, you probably won't understand unless you speak my language. But if you didn't know, I am Filipino and I speak two dialects. Tagalog, which is the most known Filipino language. And my main language is Kapampangan, which is farther than Manila or in Papanga, a completely different area. My uncle got me one of these shirts that has a word in Kapampangan that is basically me and we thought it was funny and so he got me a shirt personalized and it says Magdala, which I don't really know the direct translation but it basically just means like, what is it? like? you crazy person, like how, why would you do that? Or like, you're so, you're such an idiot, but like in a funny, like loving way, like, oh my God, you're insane type of thing. Like basically they're just calling me insane, which is true. Cause I, I'm crazy. And so that's what that means. And basically my aunt and uncle got me that shirt. And then more of like baked goods, which are my favorite types of presents. First one, my aunt made me my favorite ube brownies. If you have not had ube brownies, get your life straight and find some because they are so good. So they're basically brownies, but they have ube. Oh my God. Mm -mm. And then a med sister made some peppermint bark homemade. And this one is so good too. This has just turned into a mukbang. Mm -mm. Now moving along with what Ahmed got me, what he got me this year basically tells me how much he got to know me with the two years of living together because everything he got me is very practical and things that he probably noticed that I needed. So best gifts you could probably get. So first things first, I am always missing socks. He got me, I would say like 20 pairs of socks. I think in 2019 or maybe 2018. And for some reason, after all the move, I've like lost all of them. To fix that, I got a bunch of new socks. <laughs> and not any kind of socks, very cute animal socks. Look at this. This is a puppy and then I got like 
a little bear, and then my favorite guy is this one. That is a cow. I always put my rings anywhere, and you know I, I love my jewelry, and I spend quite a bit on them and for some reason it doesn't matter to me if I just throw them anywhere and I lose them have a mini panic attack for like a good 30 minutes and then I find them I don't know what it is I just come home and I just strip them off my fingers and I put them anywhere so in order to fix that he got me a little sloth ring holder when I opened this I actually didn't know what it was I was like oh is it supposed to hold my phone um, and he's like no turn it around and it keeps all of my rings next is my best friend and it's definitely my most used product ever since going lighter with my hair it is the best thing ever it gives so much volume it literally cleans your hair and it makes your hair smell so good next item is one i definitely needed like i literally thought he went into my amazon account and found my wish list because i have been wanting this and it's been in my wish list but i like never thought I needed it that bad that I would buy it. <laughs> it's one of those things. But he swore he did not get on there and saw it. It just like, I thought you needed this, which I really did. But basically, whenever I take baths, obviously I don't want my neck or like my head to hurt when I'm on the edge laying there. And so this is basically going to avoid that situation. And it is a bath pillow. So basically you would put this on the edge and you just lay there. Last but not the least, from Ahmed, the one thing I asked for Christmas was a raincoat, a good quality raincoat. If you've been on this channel, you would know that I don't really spend much on clothes. I am not into that. I love spending money on shoes, investing in handbags and accessories, but for some reason I didn't and I have not really gotten into investing in good quality clothes and so i took this opportunity to ask for a really good quality jacket and specifically a rain jacket because it has been raining cats and dogs here and he definitely delivered here is a lululemon bag which is a gift in itself. Look how pretty this bag is. Like you could totally reuse this. And inside is the most beautiful and comfiest raincoat I could possibly get. My gosh. So first of all, it's actually like a little bit over the knee length. So it's like a longer one, which is perfect because I'm, I'm like afraid of water. I'm afraid of rain. I feel like once I get hit by rain, I'm just gonna get a cold. Like I'm weird like that. So this is just perfect. I, you can't really tell how it looks like. I'm gonna put like a photo of a model or something, but it's basically hooded. And then it has like more of like a high neck, which is what I love. And then it has a relaxed fit. And then the main thing I love about this is the lining, you guys. Look at that. It has this like warm, like velvety lining. I can't even explain it. It's amazing. So not only is it a raincoat, it's really also for super cold weather. So I highly recommend this, even though I haven't worn it yet. I've tried it on, obviously, but I love this all right i always do this i'm like i'm gonna do this so fast and then i tell you a bajillion different stories and now i'm gonna just go 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 that's just, just what happens but wouldn't it be a video of mine if it didn't happen that way but anyway moving along to what my friends got me the first one is actually one i am next to at the moment i've made it a little extra pretty even though it's been sitting here for about two weeks now i received it not last week but the week before it was delivered as a little surprise next delivery from a friend which i cannot believe <laughs> she got me all these apples oh my god so this is excuse me it's obnoxiously loud this is from mrs printables and it's literally 10 candied apples in there and then if those weren't enough there are toffees as well as 
they're actually down there i forgot to get them but they're under the tree but there are a bunch of like those thick chocolate covered pretzel sticks with a bunch of christmas sprinkles and then there's like toffee brittle right here you there you go toffee brittle so i am good to go with the baked goods and sweets for sure then from the same friend she also got me this book and her friend actually created this entire book it's beautiful and she thought it would just be really great with my decorations because it is such a christmasy cozy look so her friend actually illustrated everything in this book i will link it down below if you're interested in getting your own copy now speaking of illustrations the next present is actually a painting from one of my good friends from college and she did so well i am a legitimate fan of spongebob i've watched every single episode up until 2014 or 2013 so she painted me one of my favorite scenes one of my favorite episodes of spongebob and this scene if you are a SpongeBob fan, you would know exactly what scene this is. And I can't believe how well she executed that. She also got me the best, the best advent calendar, especially if you are into Harry Potter. It is 24 days of Harry Potter characters. The next one is from another friend and it is another Smoko product. It's basically a boba container as if like you're drinking boba. And this friend of mine got me this because it's something we bonded over. I actually introduced him to Bobo. So he got me my own little boba ambient light. Last but not the least is from my good friend Mm, she spoiled me rotten like I opened this and I was like I think you gave me like five people's presents and <laughs> I was like you're gonna need to come back and get the rest of them because this was way too much but obviously I am very thankful and I'm very thankful for her friendship as well she didn't need to do this but she definitely spoiled me but here are the items that she got me. First things first, this Laneige kit. It has the water sleeping mask as well as my favorite lip sleeping mask. And then she got me this erase makeup eraser. This set, oh my gosh. This is a set that I have been like wanting to get, but Drunk Elephant is definitely on the pricier side and I didn't really want to try it and then fall in love <laughs> and then have to repurchase it again. But now I'm going to have to do so and I'm sure I'm going to love it, but it's fine because this girl not only got me these, she also got me to go with all of this quite a generous Sephora gift card. I'm not gonna show you how much, but this girl is crazy. And then I'm pretty sure she gave me this too because she has such great sense of style that like every time I see her wear a coat, I'm like, where did you get that? And almost all the time her answer is Zara. So she also gave me a very generous Zara gift card. I cannot believe how much she spoiled me. Thank you so much, girl. I love you so much. And thank you to everyone that maybe is watching this video as well. I have a feeling they're going to watch it too. Um, some of the people that I showed um, presents from, but thank you all so much. You have made my holiday season extra special and just having you in my life obviously makes it extra special already. You guys, I did my entire outro and I completely forgot that I also bought myself something special that I obviously have to show you. It would not be a birthday or a Christmas haul if I didn't buy myself something. And this is actually a really exciting one too, so I can't believe I almost ended that video. I got myself from this place right here. What is inside is actually a first for me for Dior. Like I said, I love their jewelry and I have a few pieces, but this is something I do not have yet. Here's the box. It came in like this. And it's obviously a small accessory. And here she is. You could see it a little bit. 
and it is the oblique print card holder look at that beauty i have been wanting something from this print for so long it's just such an original print for dior and i actually thought that this had just one slot but i didn't know it actually had multiple card slots so it has one two at the back and then two in the front and then it has a big compartment in the middle how neat and then it's actually pretty thick like you can stretch it out like this i love it i love it it's exactly what i expected the oblique print to feel like and I'm so happy. But thank you to everyone. And thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had an amazing holiday season. And thank you so much for sticking around, especially if you're coming back from the past Christmas hauls I've done. Thank you, even though I know I'm not the best at uploading. I appreciate your continued support. Once again, thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat so we can keep in touch. Once again, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.